And the final event in the pool on day three of competition, the women's 400 free, Nitzel, Delgado, Dedekind, Tetsenko, Gili, Toshpulatova, Nirushin and Tsuchiuchi. Very quickly to break water, going in lane uh, four was uh, Anastatsenko. Alongside her, though, Katja Dedekind has come out after a very, very impressive uh, streamline and underwater. Carlotta Gili as well. Looks like she's uh, positioned herself very nicely in second. And going out hard, unsurprisingly, is uh, Nirian of Ireland and Chujuchi of Japan. Yeah, this uh, this 400 meter freestyle. So you're going to see eight lengths of the pool. It's really Stetsenko's race to lose. You know, she's not out in the first 50, which is not surprising. She does not go out that hard. But as you once we come into the second 100 and definitely the third 100, I do think that you're going to see Stetsenko come in and uh, start to take it. You know, in 2016, we saw Stetsenko chase Becca Myers the whole way. Becca Myers went out and she set a blistering pace. And, you know, they don't have her right now in the field. So Stetsenko, it's going to be all her if she's able to take this lead. Bronzes in the 50 meter free and 200 IM in Rio for Toshpulatova, who touches third behind Dedekind, the uh, Australian, South African born Australian, who finds herself pressing for uh, a medal. She's a very good uh, backstroker as well, is Katya Dedekind, but going in this freestyle race looking for a medal. Not to discount any of the other swimmers in the pool, but uh, Katya Dedekind just dropping from second to... So just a little down on where she'd like to be going out in the second 50. And Carlotta Gili, you know, for someone who, for whom this event is not really their best event, she looks very good right now. She needs to try and hang on and not drop off the pace too much. And right now you see Anna Stetsenko starting to take over. This is where Stetsenko is really going to show what a dominant shulamer she really is. Stetsenko is. She's got 200 meters odd uh, to go in this women's 400 free S13 final. But coming up to the 200 splits, she's not going to be in front. Carlotta Gili will still have that on her, but she's right on the shoulder now of uh, Gili and Stetsenko is going to push for the lead and she should comfortably get it. She has got such a lovely, long, drawn-out stroke, but she manages to get through the water so quickly with it. It's almost a glide in the water. At the moment, Gili has uh, got the shorter, sharper stroke. No. Yeah, but here comes Stetsenko. You know, the third 100 of the 400 is the most important part because it really shows. It's, it's really the differentiator between a true distance swimmer and someone like Gili, who, who just isn't. Uh, she's really more of a sprinter. Stetsenko, you know, she could be doing a little bit of a better job off the wall. She's not taking advantage of the underwater the way that she could be. But she really is starting to get into this third 100. And now she's starting to get past Gili. Gili, she is going to have the legs, though, this last 100 as well as the Stetsenko, so we'll see who can come home faster. So it is Stetsenko who is battling here up to the 300 meters split they go, and Gili is managing to hold on there and thereabouts, but on the turns and indeed in the stroke over the last 100, it should be all Stetsenko. Now, Dedekin, speaking of holding on, is going to touch third, but not very far off is Tosh Pulatova, and indeed the S12 swimmer in, uh, in Delgado. Delgado will be looking to put a little pressure on to see if she can claim the bronze. But in the pool right now, in front by a good body length is Anna Setsenko and true to form is turning on the heat in the closing stages. Yep, now she really put her legs into it. Julie better turn than Setsenko. Julie used the underwater, but Setsenko, now you see her kicking. Look at her legs go. She's increased her stroke rate. This is the, the final 50, so it's everything you have. It's a complete blast to the end. Talk about blast. I mean, she's not only a very good short course swimmer, is Stetsenko, but bear in mind she's represented Ukraine in non disabled sport in open water swimming. She's got the stamina, she's got the endurance, but she's also got the speed. She's not going to be caught. She's going to come home here well outside world record pace, but good enough for gold. Anna Stetsenko is a champion for the first time in Tokyo 2020 as Carlotta Gili claims her third medal and second silver to go with one gold. It is going to be Dedekin who touches for the bronze medal as the Australian will uh, claim a fine bronze medal in the pool to go with her backstroke bronze. She's got bronze in the 400 
freestyle. But Carlotta Gili, a massive swim to try to uh, put a little pressure on Stetsenko. And Stetsenko, after Silvers previously at the World Champs and Paralympic Games, it's a gold now in the event she really wanted to win. For Gili, the silver to go with her 100 backstroke silver and her 100 fly gold. Coming off the blocks, Carlotta Gili, she got it off to a great start. Stetsenko, she had a quick reaction time, but she popped up very early. And so you saw Carlotta Gili, she took out the early lead. You know, Carlotta Gili, to her credit, she gave it a very gutsy swim. She went out as fast as she could to hang out with Stetsenko, with Stetsenko being the much stronger distance swimmer here. And this is where Stetsenko, it was really that third 100 when Stetsenko she took advantage and she went right into the lead and then she turned on the legs and it was that last 50 where she just accelerated that lead and came home in 423.92 very respectable time for her solid time if not a world record break uh, breaking and to confirm the results in the women's 400 meter freestyle is 13 anastasenko is champion as she claims her first gold of Tokyo 2020 and her fourth gold medal at the Paralympic Games with victory in the 400 free. Carlotta Gili, her third medal and second silver. And Katya Dedekind secures her second bronze just 